What, What is up, everyone? Welcome to Candle Play. and God sense, my name is Simon, Good Heart VA, and welcome to our channel Canva Play. We make videos here in Canva Play to share Canva design tutorials, tips, tricks, and hacks that will elevate your Canva skills for free. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications just below this video so you don't miss out on every video we post here as we upload new videos all the time. Alright then! Let me start our today's tutorial. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a wet glass image effect in Canva. I am sure you all know how the wet glass looks like. It means that the glass surface will look like little like water. A misty surface with tiny drops of water looks like a moisture. We usually see these kinds of photographs in magazines. Beautiful models, men or women, posing behind a wet glass in a wet look style. Even photos like this are capturing me, an ambience that looks steamy and refreshing. What if you want to make your photo behind a wet glass? Is it possible to edit something like this? Surely you can with the use of Canva. How to do it? Here is how. Let us get into Canva and I will show you how to create a wet glass image effect. But before that, Here is the design that I will create. I am now in a blank Canva design page and let's create a design. To start, get your subject image from photos or uploads. I will get mine from photos by typing in the search bar the keyword Sirius Handsome Young Man Hit Enter And you will see so many options to choose from. I will scroll down to find the image that I want to use. Here it is. This one. I will click it to insert in the design page. Then I will set this image as my background. Our next step is to use an overlay of a foggy glass with droplets of water flowing in it to make this effect realistic. So, I will scroll down to the last page. Here it is. I have already prepared one here to use as my overlay. You can also search this image from Canva Photos using the keyword precipitated wet glass surface during rain. I got this image a bit deep inside the stock library. That's why I already prepared it here to lessen the time of searching. Once you have searched that kind of keyword, there are so many options there on Canvas Photo Stock Library to choose from. But if you want the exact image that I use here, I will leave in the description box below the Canva template link of the image itself. I will drag it on this design. To proceed, I want to intensify the color of this overlay and make its shade a bit gray so that the droplets will be more obvious. Using this particular image, I'll go to Edit Image, scroll down, and find the photogenic effect. Click See All. And under Photogenic, I will scroll down. I will find the Cool section and choose Tundra. Then I will click Apply. Let's just wait for the effect to load. But as you can see, the moist and droplets of water became more visible. 
Next, I'll now adjust the filter settings of this particular overlay picture to blend it with our subject image, which is the man. Using the same image, I will go again to edit image, find the adjust settings, click see all, and adjust the following settings to brightness, 5, contrast, negative 45, saturation, 50, tint, negative 60, blur, negative 3, Vignette, this one, 100. Warm, 30. Clarity, 3. Highlights, 25. And shadows, negative 65. And I will change the transparency of this image to 45. Perfect. Now, let's resize this image to occupy the whole page. You can resize it according to your preference. You can also... Adjust the placement of your overlay. I think this is already good with me. So, I will just lock it. It's done actually, but I want to show you how to make it more realistic and visually appealing. You can do that by using droplet elements available inside Canvas Elements Stock Library and use it as an overlay to the design. Let's duplicate this design. And then let's go to Elements. Search in the search bar the keyword at Ellen Gold's Dash Images. Hit enter. Go to graphics. This is a new way to search for elements and vectors. You can type in the search bar the name of the creator or contributor here, and you will see the respective elements. Like this one, it says, view more by gold frame from Ellen Gold's images. So just like what I showed you here, if you will click these three dots at the upper right portion of a specific element, you will see that this is from Ellen Gold's images. What I'll do is I will click this one to go to the creator's collection. And from here, I can now search for what I'm looking for that he or she has made. So I need the element overlay of, I will type in, transparent water drops seamless pattern. Hit enter. Under all, you will see so many options to choose from. Finding keywords is hard and time-consuming, and you need to do a depth search and a lot more time to find this kind of keyword. If you want to save time and find extraordinary keywords like this in Canva, we have created an ebook called Canva Deep. Canva Deep is an ebook of 900 plus Canva search keywords with visual presentations that are widely known and deep search to help you find the exact stack Canva resources for your day-to-day -day designs. Going back, I will click this element, the first one, showing you the keyword transparent water drop seamless pattern. And then 
As you can see, this is the transparent overlay I'm using. I will position it here at the top part. I will duplicate it here and position it also at the bottom part. I will align them, group, and position them middle center. See, this adds more drops of water than the other one we did a while ago. You can explore more elements under this keyword and creator, and you can try applying them to your designs. Done! This is now the final look of the design I created using the wet glass image effect in Canva. That's it! For more design inspirations, watch this. If you like this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to be updated with our upcoming videos, click subscribe, drop your comments below for the tutorial you want to learn next time before I end this video. I hope I inspire your creativity. I'm Simon, good heart VA saying, sharing is caring. In behalf of Pinky, God sent VA, thank you for watching this till the end. Don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you don't miss the next video with another exciting Canva tutorial. Bye guys! See you in the next video!